no coffee. Nope, none at all. No decaf, no regular, no coffee at all. A lot of my patients ask me, they say, hey, Dr. Jen, can I get a cup of coffee on my way to get my lab work done? And I answer, no, you could buy the coffee and then drink it afterwards, <laughs> but, but you shouldn't have it before getting your lab work done. Also along those lines is no juice, and no soda. That's right. I don't want you drinking soda first thing in the morning, but if you do, I want you to hold off on all three of those. They can potentially affect your lab work. We're talking about fasting lab work. Um, and guys, that's what we're talking about today is the do's and don'ts uh, of getting fasting lab work. Now, remember when we talk about fasting lab work, we're talking about fasting before you get the blood work done. Generally, that's anywhere between eight to 12 hours before. Specify with your doctor which time period they prefer, but just know eight to 12 hours before you get your blood work done, you should not do the things I'm about to tell you not to do. <laughs> and you should do the things I'm about to tell you should do. Let's talk about chewing gum, by the way. Uh, you probably hadn't thought about that. No chewing gum. That's right. That can also affect your lab work, even the sugarless kind. I know, believe it or not, right? Um, also, you want to not smoke uh, before getting your blood work done. Now, I don't want you to smoke at any point in time, but if you do smoke, um, definitely don't smoke during the uh, the fasting period before you get your blood work done. And also try to avoid exercising um, during that period as well, because once again, all of these things, even though it seems a little strange, perhaps it does, um, all of these things can actually affect your results. And remember, we want your blood work to be the best representation of you as possible. I mean, the, the best and most accurate representation of you. That's really what I mean. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is a lot of people ask if they can take their medications before they get their lab work done. And the answer for most people is, yeah, go ahead and take your routine medications unless your doctor has told you not to take some of your routine medications or unless some of your medications you have to take with food. I would say, because I'm not your doctor, I would say just to make sure, check with your doctor to, to just know exactly what you should take and not take before you get your fasting lab work done. But remember that for most people, taking their medications is probably okay but you'll check with your doctor. Um, also, the other thing I would say too, as a family doctor, I see this a lot. Um, and now I'm talking about like routine fasting labs, right? In other words, the labs that I'm ordering are fasting, um, but it's for your routine medical care. I'm not ordering these labs because I'm worried about something or something's going on or I'm looking for something out of the ordinary. What I wanna remind you um, is that try to avoid getting your lab work done when you're sick. Meaning like if you have a cold or a little stomach bug or something like that, that, unless your doctor is ordering lab work to check out the problem that you have. The reason why I say that is because if you get routine blood work done when you're sick, some of your lab um, values may be abnormal, um, really just because you're sick and for no other reason. And then I, as your doctor, have to send you back to the lab to recheck them when you're better, okay? So the best thing to do in this situation is, first of all, if your doctor wants you to get, you know, routine lab work done and you can wait till you're not sick, that's probably the best thing to do. Or if they want you to get it done while you're sick because that's why they want it, well, of course, follow your doctor's advice. If you're not sure, just double check with them. Hey, can I wait a week? I have a cold, da 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 Like, but check with your doctor, but just keep that in mind. If you're sick, it can affect your lab work, okay? And finally, if you're not fasting and you got your lab work done, please make sure that you let your doctor know you weren't fasting. Also let the lab tech know too, so they can document it. Sometimes it's very helpful for us doctors because they'll just write, um, they'll make sure it's printed on the form. But tell your doctor, hey doc, oh my gosh, I forgot, or I wasn't able to do it, da, 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 da. I was not fasting for these labs. That actually can make a very, very big difference. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on our health expert and video creator. Thank you so much for joining me. If you've not subscribed to my channel and click the little bell for updates, I invite you to do so. And uh, also consider joining my subscription groups as well. I'm Dr. Jen, I'll see you soon.